Hey, buddy. Did you just enjoy your three-mile run, buddy? Are you out of breath? Yeah, it was a long run. It's a good run, right, buddy? Right, bullet? Uh, me and Bullet just got back from a nice three-mile run. <laughs> it's funny when you get up so early and he still has more energy. There he goes. It's funny that when you get up so early so often, like, I told myself I want to sleep in today, and sleeping in for me is getting up, setting my alarm for 6 o'clock. So I slept in until 6 o'clock today. Went for a, like a three-mile run. Now I'm going to stretch. <sighs> Definitely want to stretch because I, I have my dance lesson today, and I don't want to be sore for that. It's, it's hard to move when your legs, when your legs are sore. Hi, buddy. You must be one very happy puppy. You went for a run with me earlier, and then you had my leftover steak for breakfast because I didn't want it. Yeah, you're a lucky puppy, buddy. Yes, 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 yes you are. Dude. Ah, <sighs> spring is here. It is beautiful. It's 9.30, and it's like, I don't know, it has to be like 62 degrees. Like, this is glorious. You hear the birds chirping, man. What a day to be alive. Ooh, we got some pollen. We got some pollen coming onto the car, though. So I am feeling very, very good today. Um, I don't know. It's funny. Like I think I've mentioned this in the past, but like I would say that I don't struggle with anxiety every anymore. But I, on occasion, every once in a while, have anxious days. If that makes sense. And then on those anxious days, I just don't necessarily feel that great. Oh, just dropped my gift card down the slot. Hey. Oh, that stinks. Why do I do this, man? <laughs> Why do we have these things? I'm surprised we haven't made cars that don't have those slots. Uh, but point being, every once in a while I'll have one of those not so great days. I feel like they last for two days. One where a day is like pretty rough. And then the second day is like I'm like not nearly as bad. I don't even know the last time like they had like they happen maybe once every other month at this point. Maybe maybe once a month. But even still, that one day is like not that bad compared to what it used to be. So, point being though, I'm feeling much better today. I had some really cool realizations that I think will really 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 help me going forward. Additionally, like a new level of like you know, just freedom from it. I'm feeling good and I'm grateful for it. So I've been really enjoying the amount of work that I've been getting done at Starbucks. I had a great conversation with Sage yesterday. It was really nice to see her and we had a really cool conversation. It was cool cause like, I don't know, I didn't feel rushed, which is really cool. Like I will often, I live my life and I told her this cause she's like, you know, we were like really talking about our schedules and stuff and she's like, I was, she said something that made me say this. This conversation was really refreshing because I'm the type of guy that is very, you know, I have very planned out, like I have, you know, I plan my days, I have to get this done, this, 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 and I'm usually like, you know, to the minute doing things. And for her to come up and sit with me, cause she met, she was meeting somebody else. And then when they, she left, she came back in and said, hello. And she sat down and we had like a 20 minute, 30 minute conversation and just about so many different things. And it was really nice to just be like, not feel pressure to be like, oh, I gotta get home to do this. Like I left time for that. And I thought it was, I, I really enjoyed it, honestly. It's been good. And then plus, I mean, now it's down there, but my, it seems like it's like a never ending gift card. It just keeps going. <laughs> Granted, I only, I mean, I literally remember, this is the crazy, but this is crazy. I literally remember PCD, pre-COVID days, I would go to Starbucks often and get a media, uh, uh, you know what? This might be a defector. I'm pretty sure I would say, could I get a small coffee, but I would have my refillable Starbucks coffee cup and that the refillable I believe is a medium and some often a lot of the people would just fill it to the top and charge me for the small plus you got 10 cents off for the small for using the reusable thing so I would often I think it was 206 for my coffee now a medium coffee is 320 like that's like over a 50% increase, like that's crazy. At that point being, I still only get that, you know, I'm not getting one a $6 coffee, so it does last for, I mean, I think it's a 20, $25 gift card, like, I mean, that's almost seven coffees right there. I forgot.
forgot my gift card in the car. Gotta go back and get that out of the side of my seat. Got it. How are you? Hey, how are you? Can I have a medium dark roast, please? Anything in it? No, thank you. Right here. You're welcome. You're welcome. You too. Two hours completed at Starbucks, worked on the, started the Omega video. Got a little bit into that. Edited a vlog, edited a live performance, and then edited a how to make more money on YouTube video. <sighs> now we're gonna go pick up bullets some food and check the P.O. box. Let me grab my key. Got the P.O. box key. It's beautiful today, man. It is, no, it's saying 82. It's not 82, it's definitely not. What's the temperature? 66 it's saying it's 66 with a high of 75 it's 12 o'clock when are we expecting to get the high well 3 p.m no but then it's supposed to rain it has a 60 percent chance of raining between five and seven i was gonna see if me and jamie wanted to go to a brewery tonight after she gets home from work it's it's glorious it's so nice out nothing good except i'm still getting the mail from the previous owners, which at this point is actually very annoying because I've had this for over a year now and they apparently haven't even been in there for quite some time, so it, yeah, whatever. Oh, look at that, we got some sort of news crew going on over there. Can you see that? So I was gonna test out this location to do a little video down here on this little dock, but it is super, super, super high tide. So you, it's like, usually this is like 10 feet down, so like it's kind of walk on an incline down. But yeah, I don't think, maybe I'll come back later and do it, because people just be staring at me, which is nothing wrong with it, but it's a beautiful view. Although why are these not connected? I guess they take these out for the winter, these docks over there. Very interesting, super, super high tide though. Let's go walk past the news people, see if they want to interview me. Not like, I'll just walk past them, not say anything. I saw them interviewing people and I figured, let me just walk by, see if they want to be like, hey, do you want to be on the Ch Ch News? And I was like, I would have been like, yeah, absolutely. But they didn't ask, so it's all good. So I'm currently having one of those afternoons where I feel like I have so much to do that I'm getting nothing done. I don't know if anybody's ever like felt that kind of thing where it's just like you have so much to do, you don't know what to get done. Lists are tremendously helpful for that. Therefore, I am got a bunch done so far today, but I want to make a list so I actually like know what I have to do and let's actually get it done. Okay, so this is the list that I have. My interns did some work for me, so I want to review that work. I want to record two live videos because I didn't get to last night because I was too exhausted when I left church. It was like 10 o'clock at night. I have to edit the Omegle. I want to schedule TikToks. I want to go live and work on music. And then I want to send out... A while ago, I talked to somebody about doing chord charts for my music on Fiverr, and we worked at a price and I never really followed up. And uh, I want to get chord charts made so I can send them to my friends that are going to be playing. The plan is in the next live video, but it, months go by so fast. I don't know. I don't know why. Oh my gosh. So I want to send them some the charts to just say, hey, these are the charts. Can you learn the songs? But what I'm debating, this is something I'm really debating. Like, I'm really grateful that they want to help, but I'm debating if I need to pay them or if I just don't if like uh, are we doing it for fun or do i need to pay them and i don't know the answer to that i don't know i don't know i mean they do have to learn songs but like they're musicians do they just want to play for fun or like i don't i don't know and i don't really i don't know what the right thing to do is honestly i gotta say i really like this guy he responds pretty much instantly to what i'm talking about uh okay but it was two months ago that i sent him the original message so shout out to him just blocking i don't know if he wants his name out there so let's block Jeez, do you know how hard it is to decide on a set list? Especially when that set list includes other people, like is Emily Shua gonna sing? Is she not gonna sing? Am I gonna have a drummer? Am I not gonna have a drummer? Like there's so many factors that it's like, this is really hard. And also like, like how hard are they, the songs to learn? Like all that stuff, like so many factors. All right, here we go. Literally just ordered my first ever fiber purchase. I've never done this before. Ooh wee, making progress. I had to essentially collect the lyrics. A couple songs that I was getting the, the Fiverr work done for. So I did that, ended up reviewing the work by the interns who were doing some pretty phenomenal work actually. I'm excited about that. I have about 20 minutes until my dance lesson I'm gonna spend 
probably that time going to actually work on my vocals, warm up my vocals. Even though it's a dance lesson, I want to sing some stuff after, but also just practice and get better and do exercises. Dance lesson, here I come. It's crazy that I actually had the AC on in my car today. I honestly don't know why it's so hard for me to get places on time. Two minutes late. Hello. Hey there. Just wrapped up the dance lesson. And today, let me tell you, it was a deep dance lesson. Like we talked about a lot of stuff and a lot of different things and we covered a lot. It was a really good lesson. Really, that was a deep one. Bullet, how excited are you for some regular steak? My leftovers from last night, buddy. How excited are you? Are you very excited, dude? You look at Stay. Good we'll Stay. Good boy, Stay. Good boy. Yeah, you ready? You excited? Bullet, watch. Okay, go. Good boy. Let's go pick up some tuna nachos for. Do you want to come with down? Would you like to come with me? Bullet, would you like to come with me? 